This is Trish Parnell with Be Kids Podcast, and we're talking to Nurse Mary Beth Coslet Petraco. Hello, Nurse Mary Beth. Oh, hello, Trish. How are you? How are things? Oh, things are just great. How about with you? Just wonderful. It's so good to hear your voice. And yours, and thank you so much for uh, uh, going on the call today. And uh, what we're going to talk about is cytomegalovirus, CMV. Ooh. And the That's reason amazing. I want you to talk about it is because, you know, we're a pediatric organization and we get a lot of calls from preschool and daycare teachers and caregivers worried about CMV. And so if you could kind of, uh, you know, tell us what it is and, and, and how you get it and how you prevent it, and especially from that angle, from those folks working with young children. Ah, uh, well... CMV really is an infection of young children, uh, most likely um, younger than three years of age, but we do sometimes see it in the teenage years. And generally speaking, it's almost like a cold for the children. They get the infection, and then you never hear another thing about it. Hmm. The only issue is that once they have the virus in their body, it stays there pretty much forever. It just is not active. So there is some chance that there could be some shedding at some point later on in life if the, um, if the, if the immune system became challenged from something, most likely if it was weakened from some kind of illness. But as long as the child is well, um, there is, there is little, there, it really isn't any shedding, um, um, noted with it. But I think the thing that bothers most people is because, um, children are who they are and they come down with this infection. And while it really doesn't harm the children, it could be a problem for a woman who is pregnant with a developing fetus. Mm. Um, it has been known to cause um, uh, miscarriages, and it, you know, they have found it in the saliva and blood or urine or breast milk. Uh, it also can be sexually transmitted. So um, that's another way that it can be. And in fact, that's probably, and this is just my guess, is that's probably the most common way that it's transmitted in, in sexually active teenagers. I bet you're right. Now, um, back to the um, preschool and daycare workers, teachers, uh, I know that they're worried about changing diapers of the little ones and, and that this is a method of, for transmission. And so we always tell them hand washing. Hand washing is the very best way to prevent this infection. Is that right? That is the perfect answer. CMV is one of those viruses that is removed by uh, appropriate hand washing. And that's, I always tell uh, my nursing students when I have them that always remember to sing your ABCs twice or sing happy birthday. And that means you've washed your hands long enough. Mm. Now, isn't it also very, um, isn't it just ubiquitous in the population? I mean, what, I don't even know what the percentage is, but I think it's extremely high, isn't it, uh, that people have been infected? It certainly is. In fact, we probably have a lot of people who have been infected with it who have no clue they were even infected with it at, at one point in their lives. Yeah. And as I mentioned before, usually the only way that you know somebody may have had it um, is when there's a breakdown in the immune system and then somebody goes looking for it. Because the symptoms are like almost every other respiratory infection that you can imagine. It's the sore throat, the fever, the headache, the tiredness. That would go with any bad cold or bad viral infection. Now, um, if a person is pregnant and she becomes infected with CMV during pregnancy, it, it passes to the child in utero, to the fetus yes. in utero? It can, yes. Okay, and is this the, is this the time when uh, um, blindness, deafness, uh, disabil mental disabilities? Can yes, unfortunately, yes. And like I said, thank goodness we we don't see it very often because mm -hmm. um, most people have you know either had the virus themselves or they've developed immunity. All those folks who are working in the daycare centers very often have you know may have come into contact with the virus themselves at some time in the past. So it's it's really a non-issue for them because their immune system is working well. But yes, unfortunately, it can cause miscarriages. It can cause damage to the fetus, and if the mother has an infection then the choice would be whether or not to continue with the pregnancy, depending on you know, what that counseling was between her and her uh, and her obstetrical provider. And I, would it be really obvious in the pregnant person that uh, she was infected with something, or could it just look like a cold? It could definitely. That's, see, that's part of the problem. It definitely could just look like a cold. Mm. But that's why I think it all boils down to that excellent, scrupulous hand-washing 
after touching any kind of blood or body fluids, mm-hmm. especially if you're going to be working in a um, in a daycare setting, is don't forget the hand washing. Yeah, it's not just CMV, important. is it? <laughs> no, it's not so just CMV. Things. It's for everything. <laughs> well, right. I th- actually, this is a good chance to mention that there are a couple of vir- things that don't come off the hands with, with soap and water washing, and that's rotavirus and RSV. Hmm. Neither one of those viruses come off the hands with soap and water washing. You have to use the alcohol-based gel. Huh. If you use soap and water with those, it just transfers the virus back and forth between the hands. I'll be darned. So uh, keep your hands clean. Keep your hands off your face. because oh, Yes, keep your hands away from your face. Because the germs kick in and around the eyeballs, through the nose, around the mouth. That's right. right. Wipe, yeah. Like rubbing your eyes with your hands, mm-hmm. all of those are possible ways for transmission. Okay. Well, it seems pretty cut and dried, just uh, lots of hand washing. And um, I think nowadays they glove up usually, don't they, in uh, licensed daycares and preschools when they change I diapers? I do. I mean, I teach CPR in a couple of daycare centers, and from what I've seen, uh, almost every place where I go, they do wear gloves when they're when – they're, um, diapering the children but gloves we don't like people to get uh, think gloves are the the be all to end all and that hand washing you don't have to do it if you're going to wear a glove you still must wash your hands before, you know after you take the gloves off okay well before I th- you put the clean ones on i think that says that then so anything else on cmv um yes maybe i should just mention a word or two about treatment because generally speaking they, there is no treatment, but there is antiviral medication that might be used to use, to treat the CMV in someone whose immune system was very weak or someone who had had a transplant and came in contact with it. Um, these people are usually in the hospital. And the same thing for a newborn baby who might be infected with CMV. They might get the uh, antiviral medicine as well. But generally speaking, those are the very special medicines that are only for viruses because regular old antibiotics do not work against it and are not prescribed. Yeah. Um, really because those symptoms are so vague, the fever, the tiredness, the, the headache, the, the only thing that is um, available and prescribed would be uh, acetaminophen or ibuprofen for fever or the sore throat or the general aches and pains. Okay. But generally speaking, children get better in a couple of weeks. Um, just like they would from anything else. You, like I mentioned, you might not even know you've had a CMV infection. <laughs> and, of course, if your child isn't getting better, our little rule of thumb is if their children aren't getting better in three days, it's time to come back and be seen again. Hmm. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. Well, it's been my pleasure. And for the good information on cytomegalovirus. Yeah, big, long name. It is a big, long name. <laughs> CMV. Well, Nurse Mary Beth, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye.